Hello everyone, um, it's Friday today, but I'm not going to do a Friday Reads today because I have only read one book this week that is not book to price related, so I will just have to talk about one book and I think that's a little bit of a waste. Uh, so instead I, I decided to do the World Book Day tag and I was tagged in this by Leo from A Little Book Life. Uh, but the tag was uh, originally created by Steve Donahue, uh, so I will link everything below. Um, but this is basically about celebrating World Book Day, which was last week, but anyway, we are still in the in the mood. So I thought I will just uh, go through the questions and and answer them. The first question is, what country do you currently call home? And it is the same country where you were born. And I like how this is phrased because I always have troubles answering what country am I from. Um, I was originally born in Spain and I grew up there. Um, but since my adulthood I have moved around quite a bit. Uh, I lived in the US for a year. Uh, I lived in Kenya for a year. And uh, since 2011, I live in the Netherlands. And that's where I am currently, that's what I call home, and that's why I probably will be calling home in the foreseeable future. Um, the second question is, how many countries have you visited and did you buy books there? Uh, I have visited, I think I counted 44 countries so far. Um, and uh, yes, I sometimes do buy books there, not always, but um, some examples is um, I bought Siddhartha by Hermann Hesse in the Powell's bookstore in Poland when I was there the first time. Um, I also bought, um, this is not from a different country, but I bought an incredibly, extremely loud and incredibly close by Jonathan Safran Foer from uh, Maastricht, and Maastricht is a town in the Netherlands that has this amazing library, um, sorry, bookstore, in um, a Ray church, so it's very, very cool. And uh, when I was visiting them there, I, I went there and I bought this. And I also have uh, Nairobi's Matatumen from Mbuga Wamungi, Wamungai. And this is, uh, so Matatus are the public transport in, in Nairobi, in Kenya. And there is a whole culture surrounding them. And uh, this is about the that culture, basically. So all the people that work there, the people that decorate them, and so on. I'll try to put some pictures of uh, Matatus in, in Kenya to show a bit like the craziness of them. Um, then question three is how well is the world represented in your personal book collection? So I do have a lot of, um, I would say quite a lot of books that are from around the world. I have quite a bit of African books and Europe and the US, also um, from South America. Um, I will say that um, there are still of course regions from the world that are not as well represented. I don't have a lot of Australian books, I don't have a lot of Asian books, I don't have a lot of um, Eastern European books, so it's not perfect, but uh, I, I like to read from around the world um, to see a bit um, how other people live. Um, then the fourth question is, how many works in translation do you currently have? Now this is a tricky one, because I have two different languages uh, in my uh, translated books and I also don't have a huge amount of books in my collection. I um, I recently moved all my books uh, from my parents' house in Spain to the Netherlands um, and I forged a lot in that process. So I currently own less than 100 books and I read mostly from the library. So it's not like it's gonna grow very much and I'm not sure how representative this is of my reading right now. Um, but I do have in those, I think it's 80 something books, I have 16 books that are translated from other language into Spanish and six books that are translated into English. And that is mainly because um, most of the 
the books that I own, as I said, are from some time ago, uh, when I was younger, when I was a kid. And at that point, I read mostly in Spanish because I, my English was not uh, good enough yet to read in uh, in whatever uh, other language it was it was uh, written on. Um, and right now, as I said, I do read quite a lot of uh, translated fiction, but I read from the library, so that I don't own those books. And another thing is that um, I prefer, if I can, read the books on the language that they are written in. So, as uh, for example, I have here uh, The House of Spirits by Isabel Allende um, in Spanish. So, this is not translated, but it's not, um, you know, from North America or the UK. Another thing that I have is uh, Biographie de la Femme by Amélie Norton. And this is in French. I make a point every time I go to France to buy books in French because I like to read in French. And another example is um, this one I haven't read, um, Tamar, and this is in, in Dutch. Um, so I do have translated fiction, but I also have quite a bit of books that are in their original language simply because I can read in that language. Um, the fifth question is, tell us some weird facts about your country. And this, of course, didn't specify which country it meant, if um, your origin country or the country you currently live in. So I'm just going to do both. Um, something interesting about the Netherlands that I think everyone notices when they first come here are the bikes. Everyone has a bike. Um, actually, the um, national statistics say that there's about two bikes per person and that sounds about right we are two people in my household and we have four bikes so that sounds about right to me um and uh it's amazing the amount of things that people carry in bikes as well i have seen people carrying um, mattresses in their bikes i have seen people carrying crates of beer aquariums like <laughs> sofas it's uh, it's incredible what you can do with a bike if you want to. So yeah, that that is something that um, I think everyone notices from the Netherlands. Um, and uh, something interesting about Spain actually uh, related to World Book Day. World Book Day used to be my favorite celebration uh, around the year. You know how mo most people look forward to Christmas and they are so excited. I was always looking forward to World Book Day. Um, and I think from what I read that it was actually originated in Spain and it's on the 23rd of April because that's the date in which uh, Miguel de Cervantes died. Miguel de Cervantes wrote Don Quixote and coincidentally it's also the exact same day with the year and everything that Shakespeare died. Um, and in Spain it's a big deal. Um, there are book fairs everywhere you go, in every town, in every city. There are books, book uh, fairs where authors sign, there are talks, there are discounted books. Um, and world in the World Book Day itself, every single book everywhere in Spain is 10% discounted. And uh, there are so many activities. There are also activities in the in the in the schools, and every year on the twenty third of April in Madrid, they start um, different authors, different um, actors. They read Quixote, and they start on the twenty third of April. Usually, it takes them two or three days, and they just read it for a public audience. And I think that's really cool. And also in Barcelona. It coincides with San Jordi, which is the patron saint of the city. Uh, and it is the tradition that you give a rose and a book to all your loved ones. Um, so I, I always love those traditions and the fact that in that day, caring about books and liking books is not something strange. Like everybody participates in this um, in these things, or well, not everybody, but most people, a lot of people, 
participate and it's always great to see uh, how something that you love becomes important for everybody and you're not a nerd anymore for wanting to read all the time um, so yeah that is something interesting about Spain that maybe you didn't know um, the sixth question is is there a work of world literature in your TBR and there are several things that I'm really looking forward to read reading um, from other countries um, I don't know how you define other countries but um, yeah I have uh, recently posted an Asian readathon TBR for this month which is full of um, Asian literature which is something I'm trying to get more into as I said and I also um, have uh, several books in my TBR that I'm really lo looking forward to, to reading. One that I'm really, really, really lo looking forward to is uh, The Old Drift uh, by uh, Nam Namwali Shepo, something like that. Um, and it's about the, the historical context of Zambia. And it's something I haven't read much about. I have read books from Zambia before but never about the history of it. So um, I w I'm really looking forward to that. And then the last question is simply to tag other booktubers that are not from my own country. And for that, I want to, to um, tag Veronica and Denise, uh, who are two lovely booktubers from Czech Republic, and also Ran Ranwright Reads, um, which I believe it's from, she's from the US. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to your tags and um, I hope you enjoy and stay safe and see you soon. Bye.